Ross Brewer out as Walgreens CEO after less than three years on the job. The stock sliding to a 14-year low. Anjali Kimlani is here with the details. Anj, we're looking at a loss of 7%. That's right. And of course, the loss of CEO Roz Brewer just coming weeks after they lost their CFO, uh, James Kehoe. So it's really two top spots at the company now vacant with searches to fill. Now, Roz Brewer didn't really give any indication this comes a little bit as a surprise to many, but uh, Evercore ISI analysts did say that the timing, while could be a surprise, uh, does seem to fit with what Walgreens is moving into, which is their healthcare sector segment growth as a vertical and may make more sense for someone who has that healthcare experience to be in the top spot or at least the top two as a team as the company moves away from being just a retail pharmacy giant. If you know Roz's background, we know that she has been in retail for quite a number of years with Walmart and Starbucks. So, you know, it, it does make sense the move, but there really was no indication in a LinkedIn post just the day before, uh, you know, Roz was talking about having a leadership meeting and saying, quote, our new fiscal year begins Friday and I'm excited for what's to come. So no indication there that she was thinking about leaving uh, at least on that note. So definitely comes a surprise. We've seen Walgreens struggle with returning to what was a focus in 2019, pre-pandemic, if you remember those days, uh, which was, you know, front of store sales, getting more prescriptions filled. And so that remains a concern now for the company as its COVID windfall wanes, which we've seen uh, for other pharmacies as well. But if you if you compare it to say competitor CVS, uh, you know, they've also pivoted to being more of a healthcare services company. So definitely a shift in what we know as modern day retail giants. And Anjali, uh, another big shakeup, at least we're seeing in the health space, Amazon's one medical facing a CEO transition. What's happening there? That's right. So Amir Dan Rubin, who had been a part of the, uh, you know, the, the company's uh, found, not founding, but since 2017 had been with the healthcare startup, saw its transition through the Amazon deal, 3.9 billion there, uh, just stepping down or at least announcing that he's going to step down later this year. That doesn't come as too much as a, of a surprise if you've seen what's happened with CEOs of companies that Amazon has acquired. If you take a look back, PillPack, for example, the founders there, as well as well as Ring and Twitch, those two founders also leaving, uh, you know, just months after the deal last year, I believe is when all of these happened. So you see that transition happening, even though at the time of the acquisitions, uh, you know, the note did say they'd be staying on. So Definitely a, uh, another sort of shakeup, if you will. But you know, Amazon continues to follow um, this healthcare path and continues to grow One Medical right now with many hospital deals and more in-person services. So definitely interesting to see who they pick to fill a spot, if at all. Well, all right, Anjali, thank you.